Welcome everyone to a new Florida travel day. It's currently May 2023 and we're heading straight to Orlando from Manchester today. We're flying with Virgin. I'm excited, excited to get there. We've got the exec lounge booked in the airport. I cannot wait. I need this holiday. I need my Disney fix. Yeah, it's Definitely. going to be good to get back. We're taking you all back as well. We get about 20 messages a day. When are you going back? When are you back to Florida? This is going to be a big, exciting trip. There's going to be some surprises along the way as well. So strap yourselves in, watch the safety message and uh, fly with us across to Orlando. Hopefully we're gonna be straight to a theme park, one of our travel day traditions. We're gonna be right into the action, hopefully. Uh, the Virgin flight, when we booked it, was supposed to take off at 11.30 in the morning, great. It then changed slots and Virgin uh, VS74, I think it is, or 75, now takes off at 2.15 or 2.20, which is a little bit later on in the day. That's why we booked the exact lounge, because it's a bit more of a, you know, I don't want to go in there in the mornings, but yeah, in the you know, when it's an afternoon flight, I don't mind a bit of exact lounge. We'll see if it's worth it as well. We'll tell you what we've paid, see what we get, see what they've got gluten free wise for Laura as well. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. You've got your Disney gear on. We're in something comfy today as well. A bit of gym gear. We're in lovely gym gear from a friend's brand, the On Cloud. Lovely. Yeah, I've got new On Cloud shoes on as yes. well. You can definitely tell we're in holiday mode. Let's get ourselves to Manchester Airport. Uh, terminal 2, check out the escape lounge and let's get to Florida. So we're just in the car on the way, just wanted to mention the Virgin app is very good. It uh, does keep you updated on the flight, so it does say we're delayed, which I was worried about. However, it's only by 15 minutes, which isn't really much in the uh, grand scale of things. But yeah, I always do keep a track of your flight, it could be delayed massively in which we probably would have gone back and had a cup of tea but it's, uh, it's only 15 minutes. We are all checked in with Virgin, got the fly ready as well. You still had to upload your vaccine certificate, but uh, that was quick and easy to do, and that is finishing soon as well. You won't have to do that anymore. But yeah, nice and easy with Virgin so far. Both boarding passes on. So if any of you are new to the channel or new to our travel days, we do have multiple different trips already on the channel to Florida. Uh, we actually live in Tenerife, and uh, we have to normally come back to the UK to then fly to Florida. We get to see the family at the same time. So we flew back from Tenerife a couple of days ago. And then uh, now we uh, go straight from Manchester. Dad's kindly dropping us off. You jealous? Yeah, right? yeah, I'm just a taxi. Yeah, very jealous actually. Joel the taxi. Joel the taxi. Right. Your favourite song. I know, I know. And there you're going to Florida and Andor. How bizarre. <laughs> he's uh, he's pretty jealous, pretty quiet this morning. Oh. You alright in the back more? I'm happy, yeah. All set to go. So we'll catch you once we get to the airport, show you everything. Any little tips or tricks along the way to help you save time or anything like that, we will of course give you. But yeah, that's the first little tip. Just make sure you keep an eye on your flight because if you do get a big delay, you don't want to get to the airport too early. Just uh, do keep an eye on it. Make sure you've got your boarding pass on your phone and everything if you can. And then we'll catch you at Manchester. Well, as it says there, welcome to Manchester Terminal 2. Let's see how easy check-in is. We're here nice and early. We're actually here four hours before the flight. We did have a very quick run here in the car. Yes. There you go, there's Dad. Um, so we're going to head on in, uh, see how busy bag drop is four hours before. Should be all right. We have got to drop the case this time. Last time we flew just hand luggage. I do much prefer that. But we've got a suitcase this time because it is a bit of a longer trip. As I said, a few surprises coming up. We we'll get our bags dropped in. I am super excited to try out the exact lounge. Super so excited to get there. We've had a bit of carpool karaoke on the way. Enjoy it, and we'll also give you some top tips as well. Oh, I'm excited now. The plan is, I've got in my head. I'm envisaging putting the old annual pass lanyard on later. Pass. Free parking. Oh. And getting straight in, maybe Velocity Coaster. If it's quiet, yeah. We'll see. On that. If, if we're in the park, I'm getting in the queue. We're getting on it. And I'm curious specifically for the front. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get on in and uh, get ourselves relaxed in the lounge. Well, backdrops will be in quiet. We've got the whole thing to ourselves, Laura. The last time and it was chaos. 
Heaven and yeah. Earth. Heaven and Earth. Right, let's get this bag dropped off. As I said, I'm not fussed on travelling with a suitcase, really. It does take up a lot of time, but we needed it for this trip. Well, Laura is super excited because we've just been to the bag drop. And they're online, we were looking, trying to get seats together. They were all sporadic. I was going to pay 50 quid each to try and get us to sit next to each other. Yeah. Couldn't get any sat next to each other. Uh, we were... Uh, checked in free but we had like an aisle between us we were right near the back i said look is there any chance of any upgrades or any seats together or anything extra leg room or anything like so she said there's two extra leg rooms together they're 105 each so I'm like, mm, extra leg room 100 quid each and then she said you could upgrade to premium together for 199 each so we've treated ourselves this is our little probably early premium. early christmas present but uh, premium, yeah. Laura loves premium. We do like going in premium. So we've just come to the uh, the desk to pay our little upgrade. Yeah. But yeah, for 105, just for extra leg room sat next to each other, you might as well pay the extra 95 the and do the premium. So it is always worth asking if you are, uh, if you do check in, you start separately or you're not happy with your seats or you're thinking maybe a little upgrade because they do sell them off cheap. Yeah. They did have upgrades there to first class for 699 each. That was a bit much bit much for us but when you price them sometimes like two thousand three thousand quid each yeah, so really makes a big difference yeah. Day, yeah so if you are interested do always ask at the check-in desk they will always try and sit in your next to each other if you can and that's why it's worth coming early four hours early if you've got say they could all be sold yeah i think they will all get snapped up i think they do sell yeah. them off towards the end so also online you can bid for an upgrade as well but always worth asking at the check-in isn't it yeah. So just uh, paid the lovely man for our upgrade. We were just chatting with him. I said, do all the upgrades sell out? He said, yep, yeah, definitely. Because at the moment they've reduced the price. So to upgrade to premium is normally uh, 299 each instead of 199, which we've just paid. Uh, and the upgrades to uh, base class, upper class is normally 1099 and that's only 699 at the moment. Savings to be had right so yeah big savings but by coming early as early as we are four hours before that's probably how we've bagged the upgrade because he said they do all sell out now uh, with the price of them they sell pretty quickly so something to bear in mind if you're fancying trying to bag one do get yourself to the airport nice and early make sure you ask nice and early as well so being quite lucky there by having such a smooth run and things and asking but yeah there you go 199 each a little treat for ourselves, little Christmas treat. We don't do Christmas presents and things. Laura's just had her birthday, didn't really get you anything yeah. for your birthday, so we prefer to do little things like this. But yeah, I made up with that. Instead of 299, 199. Brilliant. Let's get ourselves through security and into the lounge. Well, here we go then. We are through security. It was a bit of a rigmarole, that one. Let Laura did have her bag checked for the deodorant stick, didn't you? Yeah, which has never been a problem. I mean, wet wipes, but I think they're just tagging everything and checking everything for the drugs and they're putting all random liquids to this other machine. Yeah, they were taking out a random liquid out of each person's bag that had been stopped to be checked on some special scanner. So that was three different checks there. Yeah. For one bag and then a lot of bags. Not yeah, and then, people. of course, short staffed. 100%. So we've lost about half an hour there. So uh, do bear that in mind. Try and make sure your bag's spot on through those scanners. But thankfully, we've come with loads of time. We're going to have a little mooch through uh, Juicy Free and WH Smith. It's got to be done on your travel day, hasn't it? You know, smell a few uh, aftershaves. And then we'll find our lounge, which I've never been to in here, especially since they've uh, done up Terminal 2 here at Manchester. Never been through it. But yeah, it's turning into an exciting little travel day, this. I'm looking forward to my premium seat. Very excited. Right, Let's see if there's anything special in here. Give you an idea on some of the sweet prices. We've got our bag full from B&M anyway, so it's, it's always gonna be cheaper to buy them outside, but we'll show you what they've got anyway. Uh, most of it is like two for five pound 50, which isn't too bad, is it really? Uh, you've got little crisps and meal deals and things. We'll have a little look at the sandwiches, see if there's anything Laura fancies, because the gluten-free on the plane normally isn't anything Phenomenal. So yeah, you can get a meal deal, £2.39. All the different sandwiches, cheese and onion, chicken and bacon, simply ham. Anything gluten-free going on, Laura? See, this is the problem. It's difficult to find. It's not really... Yeah, it's not like Might be around the other side, maybe. Yeah. So you do get drinks included in the flight, of course, but I do like to have some bottles just so I can drink them when I want. I'm not relying on uh, the air hostesses, etc. And I normally go for these. So I've got a vitamin well recover, full of all kinds. 
and a vitamin well elevator as well keep me nice and hydrated on the planes get all my vitamins in laura's gone for one as well and to stay nice and hydrated so we're full yeah. of energy to get round to Velocicoaster. yeah see that Velociraptor. yeah because flying does dehydrate that claire <laughs> <laughs> little miss boardroom come down <laughs> we're filming oh i'm excited well you'll hear me coming on the plane won't you change machines just give me a load of two peas You'll hear me jangling around on the plane, oh, Laura. Let's <laughs> have a little look in the old juicy free, see if there's anything special going on. Saw a lot of you are the same, like to give yourself a few squirts of your favourite perfume. A quick look at the Oakleys. Everyone always asks me about my sunglasses. Uh, they are uh, very similar to these, to the prism lenses with the blue. Uh, prism polarised, I normally go for. They haven't got uh, the ones I got in Florida last time either the special uh, metal ones but yeah any of these prism lenses are absolutely fantastic do check them out i'm not sponsored or anything i wish i was but uh, for colors and things they're absolutely fantastic uh, laura loves them but unfortunately you're more prescription aren't you laura you'd love to get them in a prescription wouldn't you yeah there's not really a, a super girly design on them which is a shame but I do love those sunglasses 105 pounds uh, roughly there or thereabouts for similar to mine so let's go and get ourselves in the lounge now. So in terms of Manchester Terminal 2, if you've never been in here before, uh, more and more opening up now. Uh, this wasn't open last time I was here. The collection and beauty collection, neither of these were open. But they have gone super upmarket with the food, which we mentioned last time. There's not really anything super fast food in here now. It is quite more... Ragamama's is now open. That wasn't open last time either. Uh, you got San Carlo for breakfast as well. Let's have a little look here where our escape lounge is. I think we're in that one there, the 1903 Escape. So upper level, just upstairs. Ooh, I'm excited, eh, Laura? Lord. You treated us to this, didn't you? This was another Christmas present as well. So this is where we're heading to, the Aspire Lounge, which is just downstairs. The terminal itself is actually very calm and peaceful at the moment. I think it will get busy though. I think that is the benefit of getting here a little bit earlier for your flight. So we're gonna go down to the Aspire Lounge. Get ourselves in. I've not done a, an airport lounge, Laura, in years and years. Never ever vlogged an airport lounge no. either. No. Nice little view of the airport. Verging down there. Okay, well, we are all in the Aspire Lounge. Dead easy to check in. We paid for these tickets online. Uh, they were €24.99 24 each. Nearly said euros there. €24.99 each. You get everything complimentary apart from champagne. Uh, we're just waiting for the uh, food to come out because we've come in between breakfast and lunch so the lunch should be coming out very soon laura just got me a nice little coffee there and uh, there's a couple of uh, little biscuits and different things you can get i'm going to show you everything in a moment and you also get super fast wi-fi in here as well which is great plug sockets but uh, we're just discussing then the other huge benefit of premium for us the way we are with our travel days uh, we do get off the plane first and uh, we also get our bags uh, quicker than everyone else's so that does mean we can get off a bit quicker get our bags get the car and get ourselves into uh, yeah. one of the parks of course and uh, then you'll be seeing our uh, villa coming up as well we have got another villa uh, one that we've stayed in before as well so i'm excited to go back and return to that one yeah it now yeah so it's set all it's very exciting lots to come up but first i do need a coffee it has been a long morning long morning you've got sugar in this ale not yet there it is I need a bit of sugar in this yeah it is it's nice and relaxing in here isn't it got a view of the planes because it's so small yeah it is a quiet, small lounge compared to the escape lounge upstairs and the 1903 lounge this is much smaller yeah but a bit more cozy but nice I'm liking it. nice feel to it so what turned from quite a sort of budget travel day then turned out ended up we booked the lounge as a bit of a treat yeah. and then course the upgrade let me know your thoughts on that uh, would you try and get one of those upgrades or have you done them before do you think they're worth it i think that i think for that price the man was saying they get snapped up so quick these yeah. days i mean from first class as an upgrade from a thousand and ninety nine down to six nine nine it's a big reduction that reduction, and yeah. when you price first class tickets just looking online they're only at least a, a grand a couple of grand yeah 1500 a couple of yeah. grand so definitely worth checking out those upgrades i do like that system but uh, yeah you got me some digestives as well mm -hmm. laura's just bagged herself a little bit of breakfast before it all goes there you go that's all sort of naturally gluten-free for laura you've got eggs bacon tater tots tomatoes 
coffee to go with. Oh, I've missed out, haven't I? Missed it all, look. lunch, though. So we're quite lucky we're actually getting breakfast and lunch. <laughs> I'm going to have a little bit of breakfast here and then we'll see what's for lunch as well. They had a pancake maker there, toast maker, jam, butter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wait and see what comes out for lunch now. Just to show you what we've got for lunch here, we've got some different croissants, different, it uh, looks like sort of Biscoff style bread, scones. Laura's just checking out the mains and I've just had some of that, it was delicious, like a chicken chili con carne. That looks nice, the vegetable yeah, one. the vegetable one, veggies, the rice was nice, potatoes were nice. What's under there, Laura? Nothing. Uh, nothing under there. That was the scrambled egg. Well, it was going quite well in here. I enjoyed a little bit of the Mexican chicken. But uh, we did just ask, just said, what are the options for gluten-free? And uh, Laura's got some crackers. So en enjoy your crackers, Laura. So, 40 quid for some crackers and a seat. Exciting food. Yeah. But it's quite 20... shocking, to be fair. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not, this should be one of those hot meal options. I think is probably is. I think the chef just has no clue what's Vegetarian or gluten-free or something. But just crackers. Enjoy, Laura. Okay? Oh, <laughs> so it's a very good job that you managed to get in and get some of the breakfast because the breakfast is just naturally gluten free anyway. Oh, yes, just eggs and so luckily you've had your yeah. breakfast, which was nice, you said. Yeah. But uh, yeah, what a shame. So we'd have come in just for lunch, Laura, we'd just be eating some crackers. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little bit of a shame, but I would come in here again. I do enjoy the atmosphere and everything. Well, it is nice and chilled. Laura wouldn't. Laura would. But then, to be fair, Next there's, not, get... there's not many options outside either. No, next time I could get a good chef who knows what's going on. Yeah. Who can give me gluten free options. Yeah, it's uh, unusual. I mean, there's not many options in Manchester in general now in Terminal 2, is there? Yeah. Wagamamas, maybe? Exactly. I've got one or two meals in my Wagamamas I can have, but then yeah. again, that's only one or two. But uh, good job you got your breakfast. Yeah, I've got treats with me, snacks with me. Yeah, so. we do bring plenty anyway, don't we? Yeah. We do plan to not be able to have anything. But yeah, just a little bit disappointing. I did think there would be some hot options for you, or maybe they go, oh, we've got no hot options, but we can make you this sandwich, or bring you this sandwich, or... But to just say crackers is a little bit... Crackers, really, isn't it? it? Is would you say it was crackers? <laughs> okay, so we're just uh, passing some time now, aren't we, in the lounge. Laura's got... Uh, an amazing new little book that one of our subscribers got for us. The Ultimate Disney Quiz Book. So we brought it with us because we're going to be asking a quiz question every single day of our vlogs. Yeah. We might as well start with one now, Laura. Fire away with a Disney Quiz question. Okay, we'll so give you the answer in tomorrow's vlog. Yeah. It might not be tomorrow, but you know what I mean. The following day's vlog. There are some difficult questions or some easy ones, so I'm going to go in with an easy one. Okay. In The Lion King, who is Simba's childhood best friend? Is it A? Nala, is it B, Rafiki, is it C, Pumba, or is it D, Timon? Okay, A, B, C, or D, who is Simba's best childhood friend yeah. in Lion King? Okay, let us know down in the comments, we will give you the answer tomorrow, but we've got a whole quiz book of questions very kindly bought for us, so uh, we're looking forward to bringing you loads of them, we will... Uh, have a little quiz question each day from the book. Yeah, we'll do yeah. that as often as we can, yeah. Every single vlog, hopefully. We'll try and remember. Try and remember. just watched our plane park up here and we are on the new one the a350 1000 which is nice but uh, just put our flight number in google and it knew straight away that we were gate 204 so although the board doesn't tell you what gate you are it says gate 204 terminal 2 and i, th I thought how does it know that and then you look and you can see the numbers and it is 204 as well yeah, look it seems to be bang on so I we'll see if google's us, so we're not waiting down there mm. yeah so we'll see. Google says 204. It looks like 204. You can see the older plane here and the newer one behind it, which is the one we're on. 
That looks like 204 to me. This is 211, 210, 209, 208, it looks like to me. But either way, we're on the new one, so I made up. We're on the newer A350 1000. Bit of premium. So I've just looked as well. We're scheduled to land about 20 past six in the evening. Yeah. Universal. Islands of Adventure closes at nine. As long as we're in there and in a queue, we'll be fine. Even if we just get Velocity Coaster done, I'll be made up. And then, yeah, find a snack to have, just a snack. Yeah. And then go home to the nice villa. Yeah, so that's going to be my next question for you. If any of you have seen our travel days to Florida before, this is a bit of our tradition. We like a bit of a challenge. I like to try and make the most of travel day. We always try and go straight to a park. Uh, do any of you do that? Or what is your little travel day tradition? Do you just like to check in and have a look around the hotel? Do you get straight to bed so you can be up super early the following morning? I always like now, our last sort of four trips we've done, we've gone straight into a park and we love it. It's like a little bit of a challenge Bonus for me. Day. Bonus day as well. Yeah, you feel like you've done something on your first day. You're exhausted by the end of it, but uh, that is my little bit of a challenge. So that, that's my challenge that I've set for us today. Islands of Adventures open the latest. Velocity Coast is our favorite. We'll see if we can get on there. But we'll probably join you now once we get to the gate and uh, start getting on the plane, show you our premium economy seats, what you get included with it. And uh, oh, excited. I keep saying it, but I am really excited. Feel really good. Super relaxed in here as well. I don't think I've ever been so relaxed on a travel day before. Just sitting in here, chilled music, very calm atmosphere. Yeah. So we stuck with Google and we started walking to 204 before the gate was even announced. And uh, we're following all the uh, Virgin Air hostesses. Yes, so we were right. And then we just looked at the board and it does say 204. So Google was right. It tells you your gate before you even uh, before it even goes on the board. So that could be another little sneaky thing to look for. If you like to get to the gate first, we're getting here with all the staff here. Okay, <laughs> I guess some nice views of the planes and a bit of time lapse for you all. Yeah, Google was spot on with the gate number, to be fair. Spot on brings back memories walking through this section of Manchester. These old gates, which all are, are all due to be changed very soon. It's all getting refair, but it brings back proper old school memories. Coming on holiday as a kid, flying to Florida as a kid. It's even got that old school smell in here. It's all currently being modernised, Manchester, especially Terminal 2. Like these nice new modern toilets, but the old school seating and the old school numbers and signage and stuff takes me right back show me life show me love make a change time is up we can wait for better days but the days won't come show me life show me love well looks getting real now Laura we're on Mamma Mia Well, we're all boarded, we're on, loving the seats, absolutely. Little Rower 2, we can't disturb anyone, we can vlog away, we can film the takeoff. We've got a little uh, electronic rest, yeah. champagne going on. Oh, that's nice, very nice. Yeah, all electronic seats, chargers there as well. Got me orange juice. Feeling good. Just just text my dad. I said we've upgraded the seats, but the orange juice is a bit too tangy. <laughs> He'll be mega jealous. You know, it's well worth the upgrade. This was for the for the value. If you if you've got it, well worth the value. Oh, fantastic. We don't like to welcome back our Virgin Atlantic holidays customers and any one connected to our Sky team and other coach share partners. Whilst you're settling in, please carefully put away your larger bags into the overhead lockers so that they can't fall out and injure someone. We're just about done, all the paperwork's been done, so we just last the uh, check and then we'll get the doors closed and get underway. Nice flight time of eight and a half hours. And the route taking us off the south, hopefully runway and turning right to the uh, New North Wales.
life with us today. You're no doubt keen to lose yourself in our dazzling world of entertainment. But first we're going to show you a safety film, and we'd like you to give it your full attention. Okay, so just to give you an update, they've come round with some nice hot towels, which are very hot, piping hot, and I've also got a, uh, a dinner menu, which I'm going to show you, so we do get to pick from a menu what we're going to have. Laura's gluten-free meal will still be the economy one, but uh, nice to pick through the menu what we've got going on, Laura. My, uh, okay, so for starters, we've got gluten-free <laughs> salad, the ramen, we've got mini chicken leaf pie, Okay, so Laura's gluten-free meal has just arrived. We're currently about probably 45 minutes into the flight. What have we got, Laura? A Moroccan, is that the same one you get every time? Vegetable, rice. You got a chock pot though, which is more than I'm gonna end up. I am gonna ask for my meal from uh, Economy, you know. Yeah, do it. I'm gonna ask rice. for my meal, yeah. Yeah, there you go, gluten-free meal. You love a good chickpea salad, don't you? particularly to be honest but I'd never really bank on these meals to be honest whoever you're flying with always try and bring a little sandwich I reckon yourselves because these meals are getting less and less desirable okay so here is my dinner now this is the main tray from the premium economy however I did ask for my meal from economy which is the chicken and Portuguese rice which I quite like uh, so this is all premium, you can do nice, nice glassware and knife and fork and things. I uh, won't be having the salad. Dessert, a bit disappointing with that one. But uh, yeah, this I prefer this as a main meal from economy. So uh, they did go and get that for me, which was nice of them, very kind. So I'm gonna dig into that. So we're doing our best to stay hydrated, of course. So Laura's got a big bottle of water and we're gonna add these uh, hydrate pills, there you go. Dissolved electrolyte tablets will keep us nice and hydrated and energized for when we get there. Yeah, we'll keep 
definitely recommend them, don't we? We've recommended them before. Little hydration tablets just give you a bit of a boost, don't they? Yeah, just to help get got electrolytes in them and you know. Yeah, drink, drink as much as you can on the planes as well, stay nice and hydrated. Yeah. Laura's also wearing a nice comfy outfit on, it's another key tip. Wear something nice and comfy. I always wear gym gym gear and I'm wearing this one today. This is my deluxe gym gear. five hours into the flight it's just thought I'd show you this cool little section where you can sit chill with friends relax you've got the screen on there showing you everything that's going on you can sit here relax put your seat belts on cool little section this so I'm just sitting here chilling for a minute watching the screen it's a nice little place you can all relax sit together have a little drink and stuff cool little chill area it doesn't feel like you're on a plane actually but yeah flight's all so good so far got plenty of editing done left to go. Not bad at all. Have a little snack now, maybe watch something. It's really like the same. So I'm just having a little fresh off. I'm going to uh, brush my teeth, put a face cream on, freshen myself up, ready for when we land, feel nice and good. I've changed my phone settings to uh, Miami or Florida time as well, so I'm, I'm set. I feel like it's four in the afternoon. I'm going to do my teeth and then uh, settle down. We've got another hour or so left and then we'll be off. I'm going to keep hydrated as well. But yeah, good tip that if you can put your toothbrush in your hand luggage, you'll feel so much better. Do your teeth, wash your face bit of face cream on or sun cream on just freshen up you will feel much better uh, plenty of uh, hydration as well I'm gonna do my teeth now and uh, settle back down again well you don't see this on many travel days so let me know do you think I'm crazy or what so I feel all refreshed that Laura's watching Harry Potter which is really puffy in the mood Christmas 
stay this. So mine has arrived as well. This is what you get in premium as your little arrival snack. Have a tea please. There you go. Lovely staff saving us. We've got the Jacob's crackers, got a chicken sandwich, some onion relish, and I don't know what that is there, some chocolate looking thing. Is that chocolate? We've arrived, we've got the famous carpets, that famous smell. It's good to be back. We've arrived, it's a little bit rainy out there, but uh, good to be back. Gonna get through security and then we'll catch up with you. Well, there we go. Bag collection was pretty easy. Suitcase was actually off before most of the first class cases, which was great. So we really did save a lot of time there. Now it is nearly half past seven and the weather isn't phenomenal. So I don't think we'll be going to a park, but Disney Springs is now on the agenda as a plan B, but we're going to have our first ride of the trip in just a minute anyway, because we're about to get on the magic tram with Buddy Dyer, and this is the first ride of the trip, this right here, I love it, here we go Laura, first ride of the trip, this one here, Oh yeah, very exciting. Love it. Might not get any theme park rides done, Laura, but we will get this ride done. Oh, and you know what? I don't even mind that it's raining and you land in the rain because it's humid. It's got the smell. Well, love as it. Well, like if you arrived in Tenerife, it was like this. You're like, oh my god. Yeah. It's plenty to do with the weather, like. This. Oh yeah, I'm not. This so, really doesn't phase me. What? What unfortunately happened was the uh, I thought uh, Irons of Adventure closed at nine. It closed at eight. So. No now we have got Disney passes and of course those parks do open a lot later However, however we don't want to activate our two-week pass too early So yeah, that's why we won't be going to a Disney park. Yeah, yeah. We'll What Disney Springs will do. We're gonna have a nice place pizza, Maybe, little yeah. mooch around world of Disney and all of that, you know I will be next the ears. Oh, I'm sure and then next spirit jersey and all the rest of it I'll have been up online, uh, right? See look look iron up already Oh, here it comes, first ride of the trip. Bring it on. And here we go, you know you've made it when you make this room as well, the big flag. We say it every time, the Disney store right there. Oh yeah, you don't want to be leaving from here, but when you're arriving, it's wonderful. And uh, there's the Disney shop, Universal shop, and we're going to head straight down to pick up our rental car. Yeah, you know you made it when you make it to this point. But the smell, the famous carpet. Oh yeah. Done really well. Got off really quick there, didn't we? Yeah. One of the first off, straight through uh, passport control. One of the first cases off, and uh, probably one of the first to the car rental desk. Hopefully. I can't even explain the excitement right now. The relief, excitement, pleasure, joy. I'm going to get straight over to the Alamo desk. Get that all boxed off and we'll be in our car, but this also as well, to get to the Alamo desk, you have to walk past this Starbucks. Best An American they Starbucks. Starbucks. They smell so much better than European ones. That smells so good. 
well all sorted with the car always super easy with alamo always very friendly staff as well juliana very very friendly indeed so we're picking up our mid-size suv let's go up to the par car park grab it job done stride on this is one of my favorite parts oh, this yeah. yep this is the one when you cross this street there's like four phases to uh, arriving at uh, Orlando, yeah. This is the final one that really hits for me. You go through the doors and then you stood on this cross and you just get the smell, the humidity, the... Oh, yeah, I can feel that. Wow. It, see, it looks like it should be freezing, but it's boiling. <laughs> oh, I love it. The smell. Oh, yes. See... It's raining and I don't even care. It's absolutely oh, yeah. not even bothered. Don't even care about the rain. So uh, once you're done at the desk, you can just come over to this little office here and this uh, man will direct me on to where to go, which car to get. Yeah, there you go. The man just uh, came out and just directed us to here. He said you pick any one of these you want in the mid-size SUV. Keys are inside, car's unlocked, show the paperwork on the way out job done i do like a nissan rogue I do quite like a nissan rogue so we'll park ourselves here for now and i'll just quickly check what else we've got down the row this is the other beauty of getting off the plane early you get to pick your choice of the cars and we could also have a ford escape oh it's a tough choice i do like a ford as well ford escape or a nissan rogue Ford Escape looks quite nice actually on the end of the row here. I do quite like the look of the Ford. Ford Escape it might be, I think. A change of plan everyone, we've gone for the RAV4 simply because it's got this set uh, boot cover that we could do with uh, for this trip if we've got any luggage in the boot and things and keep things cool as well. So we've gone for that simply because the boot is slightly bigger on the RAV4 but uh, you've got that boot cover as well, so uh, we're going with this one. I do this every time when you get your car before you go anywhere, just walk around it, check for any damages, just record everything just to be sure there's no existing damages. If they do try and blame anything on you, you can show that it wasn't you. But this looks uh, absolutely perfectly clean. They always uh, normally are with Alamo. Nothing big or major on it, but it's always good just to go around it because you never ever know, there could be a dink in it, you return it and they say it was you and try and charge you or something like that. No matter what company uh, you're renting with, I always recommend doing this. It's not my favorite color, this gray. Everyone's getting these colored cars gray, aren't they? But they look like a, looks like a primer coat to me, but it's, it's in fashion very much, this color gray at the moment. But uh, yeah, let's jump in. Toyota's drive nice, so I'm sure it'll be fine. We're on our way. On the way to Disney Springs, we weren't going to make a park. It's not the best weather for it anyway. Velocity Coaster would be closed in this weather, so it's, it's worked out kind of for the best. We'll then go and have a nice Disney Springs. We'll have a nice Blaze Pizza. Yeah. Scope out the shop. Uh, dead smooth getting the car. Dead smooth getting through passport. Dead smooth getting the bags. Everything. We were literally out of the airport there with our suitcase, our car, and everything within half an hour. Yeah, we smashed yeah. it. Yeah. And it, as I said, big advantage going down all the rows of cars. Uh, the people coming off of the back of the plane, they'll have a lot less choice than we had. Yeah. Um, by the time we left, there was four other people had taken other other cars in our row. So. We did well. Yeah, we did nice. Getting a bit of a choice. This is slightly bigger. I prefer the drive of a Ford, but this is a bit bigger. Toyotas are good cars, and then the boot's slightly bigger, but with that cover as well, which yeah. I wanted. Yeah, we're going to get ourselves there. It's going to concentrate with all this rain and stuff around. And we'll like, catch oh, a Disney I'm Springs. Too excited. Hey. So, as you can see, very heavy rain now. It's, it actually looks okay on the camera. It's a lot, it feels a lot worse. But if you do arrive or you do end up driving in anything like this, just take it nice and steady. Put your wipers on full. And be aware as well that loads of the drivers don't bother putting their lights on either. But yeah, just take it nice and steady. If someone gets up your uh, right up behind you, just ignore them. Because it is quite uh, 
can be quite daunting driving in heavy rain like this with it all being so grey and the spray coming up. Yeah, I couldn't do it, definitely not. Yeah, I'd be uh, worried about you doing it without any experience as well of this. I'm quite used to this now, but yeah, even it's not pleasurable. Well, we're all parked up. We're at Disney Springs within about 50 minutes of getting off the plane. Look at that. Can't be bad. Fancy a little bit of a blaze, a little bit of a so mooch. I know, it? it's a bit, a bit of a different travel day for us. Didn't quite go to plan with going to a park. But as I was just saying to Laura, if it's been like this for the last few hours, which I believe it has, arriving earlier probably wouldn't have made any difference because most of the rides and things would have been closed. We'd have ended up soaked and things. So a bit nicer for you guys as well. See something a bit of a different, a bit of a different routine. This might be more up your street coming for a bite to eat rather than straight into a park like those nutters. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Right. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Nice. Doesn't matter where you go. You go to a park, shopping, to your hotel. You just go to your hotel, get a quick bite at your hotel and just chill out on the bed. Oh, it's just good it's to be so here. It really is. Here. Yeah. Really. I hope you've enjoyed the travel day so far. Do let me know uh, your thoughts on everything we've done, the upgrade, the flight, the car everything like that we do love to know your opinions if you've got any tips or tricks or ideas or things that you thought we could have done a bit better or smoother or might help other people out in the comments let us know as well and if you're not already in the night stride of florida fan group on facebook make sure you join that i do love disney springs at night all the lighting around the theming of it the music i do like it around here it is a nice evening place. It's slightly raining, but as I said, I'm not bothered. We've got the Disney 100 signs. It's always new things to see. Every time we come, there's always something different gone on. We're gonna head straight towards Blaze Pizza and the shops as well. Like I said, it's raining and it doesn't phase me one little bit. I actually quite like it in a strange way. Yeah, it's a nice quiet atmosphere in here because I think a lot of the rain has scared a lot of people off. So it doesn't phase us, not tonight, not when you've just arrived in Florida. Oh yeah. Blaze. And then uh, World of Disney might get myself a little treat somewhere, a little cookie or something, you know. Little uh, chocolate covered marshmallow or something. We are then Blaze Pizza. This is where you can build your own pizza. It's really good in here. So they've got gluten free, uh, all different bases, all different toppings. You can pay for extra toppings, build your pizza exactly how you like it. So it's good in here. If you like pizzas, it's quite an easy, easy little dinner to do. So you can get a two top pizza for $10.95, a one top pizza for $9.95, different hot drinks. Oh. What are you going for, Laura? I'm going to go for a normal pizza, double cheese, half with jalapenos and green peppers. Yes, you can half and half your pizza, can't Do you? Do whatever you like. Do whatever you like. Nice. I have had one of these before. They're quite good. I'm not going to get one today, but the warmed up small, which is this here, on digestive biscuits is quite nice. Naughty, but nice. Here we go then, gorgeous pizzas. Got my pepperoni out. Are you enjoying that there, Laura? It's amazing. That yeah. hitting the spot. Definitely Proper American the pizza, that. Gluten free. Yeah, and I got my little pot of buffalo sauce as well. Nice. So yeah, it's good for allergies in here as well, isn't it? Got everything yeah. going on. Yeah, really good, yeah. Now I'm just going to try and stop you spending yeah. money in the shop. No chance. <laughs> Loved our pizzas. Laura's just said it's the best pizza she's had in a long time. Now this was $26 for two build your own pizzas. Uh, we both went for just the, the water option, so no charge for the drinks. And also no need to do any tips in here either. So it's not bad really. Yeah, 26 $13, yeah. $13 yeah. a pizza. It's not bad not at bad. all for a proper hot, fresh, fresh build your own pizza, fresh ingredients. And yeah, if you want to just go with tap water, you save on the drink. And then, as I said, no, you don't have to do any tips in here either. It's not really table service, so yeah, it makes it nice. yeah, quick. So it's really good. I think for, for in, inside Disney, it's really good value. Okay, we're heading in, Laura. I'm putting you on a restriction here. You've got to go easy. Look, look, diving straight in. Look, she's off. Gone. 
Oh my word, what we look straight over to this spirit jersey. Is this the one? That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. It is nice like. Yeah, We've literally just stepped in the door five oh, minutes. Well, you might as well if you're getting it, you might as well get it early so you can wear it. It is nice. I don't, I don't even want to know the price. What is it? 85. 85. Well, if you're going to get it, you might as well get it early in the trip. That's that's the point, so you can wear it during the trip. If you're going to get it, which you're planning on, you might as well get it first night and you've got it. You might even wear it tomorrow. You don't know, do you? Right, so there you go. That's Disney for you. You walk in the door. What? How many steps was that? Ten steps. And we're already down by $90. There you go. <laughs> Mental. This is quite nice, this lounge fly. Yeah. Quite nice, that. No, same size. It's just not got the ears on. Yeah. Here's another new one. See, every time you come, there's just new stuff every time. Every time. That spirit jersey's still here from last time. Yeah, there's quite a lot of new stuff. And of interest will uh, show you, but we're going to be shopping properly or mooching around the shops properly another day as well. They're quite nice. What ears were you eyeing up this trip, Laura? I've not seen any yet. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Laura's like a no Star Wars ones. If you're a Marvel fan as well, these are new, aren't they? Yeah, all new. You know, you might see some in the parks when we go, Laura, yeah. that take your fancy. It's always different different items in different shops in different parks in different areas but this is your main world of Disney store in Disney Springs this is where you've got most of the stuff massive this is spend all day mooching around here <laughs> dad jokes saves fresh day that is what a good one for me dad that that's a good one for you as well you're on mute <laughs> So my little nephew Jude is obsessed with cars and in particularly Mater because he looks like Grandad. So uh, I'm going to get him this little Mater because he's got the little ones but this one's bigger. You pull it back it makes a noise and things. They've got more around there that remote control but he's not quite old enough for that yet. But yeah he's obsessed with cars so we'll get him that bigger Mater, he'll like that. It's a bit bigger than the ones he's got isn't it? Yeah. Not too bad a price, $15, no, not bad no, for, for official Disney. Yeah, so we've just come into the store next door, which does all of the gorgeous sculptures and things. Look at this. This wasn't here last time. It's only $8,000, Laura, plus tax for the Spaceship Earth. I even like these, the new glass monuments. Oh, that's a nice setup. It's amazing, that. Anyone got a spare $8,000? Oh, it will be, yeah, big time. Wow, I do like that. It's something cool. different. Yeah. We're going to carry on through to the other side, through to the shop. And then uh, we'll probably start heading to the villa then, I think. Yeah. Well, even in the rain, there's still a die-hard queue for Gideon's. I really don't understand the hype for that. I would not wait in the rain for one of those cookies, but uh, each to their own, I suppose. But it does amaze me. The queue's outside that place. Rain, hail, snow, blistering sun, doesn't matter. The queues are massive outside Gideon's. I mean, if they weren't that long, we'd probably go in and get you one to They'd probably just go and try one, yeah. It just, just doesn't attract me enough to wait that long. No. Pulled up at 7-Eleven on the way back and we got a little raccoon there in front of us. Laura's enjoying a little view of the little raccoon. Just checking out the bins. Cute, isn't he? Look at him. Oh, it's gorgeous. Laura's just popping in to buy a little bit of milk and just a drink just for tonight for bed before uh, we go for a proper shop tomorrow. Yeah, I spotted him as soon as we pulled in, oh, I could see him. I didn't put any food for him either. I know. Hey, trust me, I think he's well fed. Looks pretty healthy to me. We just got to our villa. I just got the fright of my life. Put the door code in, went to pull the handle, and he, this massive frog, was behind the handle. I grabbed him by mistake. <laughs> But if we open the door, he might end up in the, he might end up in the villa, Laura. Don't. He's massive. He's absolutely huge. 
gorgeous. But yeah, fright of my life. I meant to pull the handle, end up pulling his head. Well, there we go. We are all in our lovely villa, which we will be showing you soon. Uh, but for now, we're going to crash and get to bed. And I'm looking forward to showing you the villa. We have stayed in this one before, but they've done some nice changes to it. They have. It's looking really, nice really good. Uh, so you will get to see all about this villa uh, coming up very soon. I hope you did enjoy the travel day. Do please let us know in the comments. Make sure you give a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you did or didn't enjoy it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe. We've got a few different Florida series already on the channel. And of course, this big one coming up as well. Uh, thank you all so much. We will see you tomorrow bright and early. We'll be up uh, and out and about for our little coffee at celebration. I'm excited, really excited. So uh, thank you all very much for watching and uh, stride on. We'll see you tomorrow.